Welcome back, friends. In the previous session, we ended up our discussion by discussing um, types of organic reactions and their mechanisms. So we finished the, uh, that part well, and uh, in today's session, we will go to continue. And today we will go to start, start our discussion about uh, different factors affecting the mechanisms and the rate of uh, organic reactions. So, I know that uh, from the previous session I was using geyser notes, but for now I will not be using geyser notes again. I will be having my own notes which I will be using, this one, and uh, if you need these notes you can uh, contact me using the numbers which are seen below, or you can use my normal numbers which you normally use. So today I will start with the, the last three main factors which affect the properties and the reactions of organic compounds. We are going to discuss about the factors, factors affecting, affecting, factors affecting the properties properties and the reactions reactions of organic compounds So kama tunavyojua kwenye organic chemistry kwamba organic compounds zinakuwa zina properties zake zinakuwa affected by in different ways. So tunapo affect property organic compound as well to affect a chemical reaction ambayo inaweza ikatokea. Kwa hiyo tunapokuwa tuna alter the properties of a compound tunaweza ka alter pia property ya chemical reaction. So there are three main factors which affect the properties and reactions of organic compound. Which are so we have inductive effect, inductive effect, then we have mesomeric effect, and uh, the reactivity of lone pair. Inductive effect, mesomeric effect, and the reactivity of lone pair. We will start by discussing one factor after another. So let us mention here, just yes, we have inductive, inductive. Mesomeric and reactivity of lone. These are the three factors which we will be discussing or which we will be dealing with in these sessions. So I will start with the inductive effect. We will start with the inductive inductive effect. So kutokana na mazingira tuliyonayo siwezi nikaandika kila kitu because I will be losing a lot of time in, in writing I can't write everything but uh, kile ambacho naweza nikafanya tu ni kwamba ni kuandika baadhi ya vitu ambavyo ni important kwa wewe kuelewa then not to kitaka tazinua sio cost kubwa so tukianza na inductive effect inductive effect kwanza ni ni, ni, ni kitu gani inductive effect ni kitu gani so by definition we are saying that in inductive effect if the polarization or we can define is an electron an electron an electronic effect electronic effect due to polarization polarization or polarization of Sigma, sigma bond within a molecule within a molecule in the result in the result of electronegativity electronegativity difference 
electronegativity difference between the atoms between the atoms at either either end of the bone so this is the simple definition of our inductive effect is an electron effect this effect is due to electrons in a solution electrons that's why it is called as electronic effect it is an electronic effect due to polarization there is polarization sometimes here you can use as yes, no problem this is just the difference between British English and American English if you are writing Z it is American English then S it is British English so polarization of a sigma bond within a molecule is the result of electronegativity difference electronegativity difference between the atoms at either end of the bond now how inductive effect tend to take place it is because of the electronegativity difference so we have another definition of our inductive effect and by we try to combine the polarization of sigma bond polarization of sigma bond and here maneno cha natokea polarization do you have sigma bond in here in the polarization of sigma bond polarization of sigma bond in the polarization of sigma bond then which affect the properties polarization of sigma bond due to electron withdrawing or electron donating due to electron withdrawing or electron electron donating electron withdrawing or electron donating effect of an adjacent group of atoms of adjacent adjacent group of atoms so can be atom or can be group of atoms so vitu ambavyo natakiwa uelewe kwanza kuhusu inductive effect inductive effect ni electronic effect inayotokana ni polarization of sigma bond kwa hiyo if you remember when the introduction of any chemistry summary tunapokotwa sigma bond let's say between carbon and chlorine this is sigma bond sigma bond is formed by hybridized end to end hybridization of orbit end to end hybridization so as in this bond if this chlorine as we know chlorine or a halogen is more electronegative electro na kwenye organic reactions always halogen wao tunaandika kama x tunaandika kama x so sometimes kama nikaandika kama nikaandika kuwa ni it is c then x this one is more electronegative so what do we expect from uh, the more electronegative of this x um the electrons will be pulled more towards this x so the partial energy will be developed here and the partial force will be developed here if we have many carbons say we have first carbon second third fourth then there is a halogen there all these carbons they possess hydrogens this inductive effect from here this will form positive partial negative this inductive effect will tend to spring this one will draw electrons towards itself then electrons will be drawn in this way why kwa sababu huyu bondi akivuta electron toka toka kwa carbon kuja kwa huyu hii effect inakuja huko maana yake hizi electrons zao pia zinavuta kwenda hivi zinavuta ni kama vile watu wote mshika kamba afu ile kamba kuna vuta that means all of you will be pulled towards one side that is what the inductive effect does so kwa hapa that means huyo hapa inductive effect yake itaandika 
hizo wa kumbili Huyo hapa taandika Tatu Na huyo hapa taandika Ina So the strength of inactive effect In a tend to decrease Tunakotoka hapa Strength in a decrease Tanda kudiscuss Strength in a decrease Kutoka kwenye hii hapa Ndiyo kamo ni ambayo Huyo hapa mgoni Hii naitua alpha kamo Then from there we will have beta carbon. From there to the carbon again. So to get the carbon in the answer, you have three carbon beta. You have third. Malanyi strength here is not to be in a positive significant. How the carbon is happy? You have third. When there are very strength and that to be effective, how to use it? It is insignificant. That means in dogo sana we can ignore it. So that is how inductive effect uh, tend to take place. That's how inductive effect tend to take place. Now, to one explanations about uh, inductive effect. Tunasema kwamba inductive effect involves the shift of electrons involves the shift of electrons density uh, if kama ulielewa vizuri chemical bond tunaposema electron density unaelewa kwamba tunapokuwa tuna any bond any bond inakuwa ina electron density so if the bond is formed between the electrons having equal electronegativity that means the electron density itakuwa hapa katikati but if the bond involves the electrons having different electronegativity so to kwenye organic compound anywhere lazima kitakachotokea ni kwamba electrons will pull towards one side electrons will pull towards one side so what will happen hapa ni kwamba tunasema kwamba from one atom to another through sigma bond and the result to polarization of the bond so this bond will be polarized one side of the bond will be partially Negative on one side will be partially positive. So, hapa kuna kitu na kita silent features. Hini inductive effect ito ke, lazima kwa kuna nini. Silent features of inductive effect. The first silent feature, it arises due to electronegativity difference. So, without electronegativity difference, inductive effect cannot happen. So, anywhere unapona inductive effect, inductive effect, the first thing to see is about the electronegativity difference. The more electronegative atom is the one which will attract electrons. And the less electronegative atom is the one which will become partially positive because of the withdrawal of electrons from it. The second silent feature, it is transmitted through sigma bond. Kama nubwaza kuona po kamba, inductive effect starts in this carbon, but it is transmitted through sigma bond from this carbon to other carbons. However, the strength and significance of this inductive effect tend to decrease as we are moving from the first carbon to the third carbon and from the third carbon to other carbons the effect is insignificant that means we are sometimes ignoring the effect from the fourth carbon because the effect is small and it is insignificant as such so that is the second characteristic or second silent feature the third silent feature it is a permanent effect it is a permanent and the fourth the magnitude of inductive effect decreases while moving away from the group causing it. So, the group causing the inductive effect in the halogen, the magnitude of the inductive effect tends to decrease as we are moving from the halogen to other carbons. So that is also the silent feature for inductive effect. Then, number five, it influences chemical and physical properties of different compounds, as we shall see the effects of inductive effect. Then number six, the magnitude of inductive effect is also influenced by the number of groups of atoms causing it. So, if uh, let's say you have a single halogen causing inductive effect, the inductive effect will be smaller as compared with having another halogen, let's say here, or another halogen here. All these, they cause inductive effect at this carbon. That means the strength or magnitude of inductive effect at this carbon will be higher if we have three halogen as compared if we have one halogen or if we have two halogen. Now let's see about the illustration of inductive effect. And I hope even this uh, diagram which I used will be, will be best to explain what happens in inductive effect.
illustration of inductive effect. So here we are just explaining what happens in inductive effect. Now assume we have the carbon chlorine bond, carbon chlorine, and in our example here, carbon chlorine bond is just like a carbon halogen, and I have written halogen is X. So assume we have a carbon halogen or a carbon chlorine bond, and in the in the just like a, a butyl chloride, butyl chloride is, is just like this compound. Let's say here it was chlorine, this will be butyl chloride. Butyl chloride. Butyl means it is a C4 H instead of being instead of being 10 will be 9 then chlorine. This is butyl chloride, or sometimes you can call it as the chlorobutane or one chlorobutane, it is butyl chloride sometimes. Called this butyl chloride. Now, it is polarized due to the electronic difference of atoms between carbon and chlorine. So, due to the difference of electronegativity between chlorine and carbon, this carbon will be polarized. All the compound will be polarized, but the first carbon to be polarized is this one. And this inductive effect will be transmitted from this first carbon to other carbons. So, what we are saying is that uh, the electrons are withdrawn by chlorine atom. This chlorine tends to withdraw electrons from this carbon. You see? Third, the first carbon atom gets a partial positive charge. The first carbon atom gets partial positive charge, which is this one. And as the result, in turn, this carbon drags electron density partially from the next carbon. This carbon drags electron density partially from this carbon. You see? That is, we are saying that the negative effect is transmitted from one carbon to another. Then we are saying that this next carbon again draw electron or pulls electron from the next carbon. So that's what happens. But the strength of pulling electrons from this chlorine to this carbon tends to decrease as we are moving far from the group causing it. So you you have this uh, diagram in, in, in your notes if you buy them, you have this diagram. So the inductive effect is transmitted through carbon chain from this chlorine to this carbon. Inductive effect tends to be transmitted to carbon in a corner. But the inductive effect weakens, this is very important for you to note, weakens away along the carbon chain and is not significant beyond the third carbon atom. Beyond the third carbon atom. So we can consider inductive effect up to this carbon atom. And beyond this, the inductive effect is insignificant because it tends to decrease to the extent which we can ignore it. So an inductive effect, an inductive effect is the elect electronegative atom pulls electrons in the sigma bond towards itself, creating some polarity. Creating some polarity. So this doesn't only happen in neutral quality. In many of the halo alkane, that means they are coming and having halogens, this inductive effect happens. For example, in compounds like uh, H3 carbon chlorine, here we have an inductive effect. We develop partial negative and partial positive here. Also in compounds like alcohol, CH3, then all then hydrogen. Because this one is more is more electronegative, this will be partially negative and this is partially positive. And this inductive effect can sometimes even uh, transfer to, to the carbon atom. But we shall see the effects of this inductive effect in different categories of organic compounds, in different groups of organic compounds. Now, before going to discuss about uh, the effects of these inductive effects, Inductive compounds. Let's see about the categories or types of uh, inductive effect. Because the types of inductive effect will provide us with the effects of inductive effect in different types of organic compounds. Because the effect of inductive effect in the effect of inductive effect in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the positive and negative, it is different. Now we have two categories of inductive effect depending on whether. Electrons they are donated or withdrawn. Ko tukiwa tunampa electrons tunaita positive inductive effect. That means tunampa 
Lakini tukiwa tuna withdrawal electrons that means negative inactive effect we are withdrawing tunaondoa electrons so effect ya inductive effect inategemea either we withdraw electrons or we are donating electrons if we are donating electrons it will be positive and if we are withdrawing electrons it will be negative now tuanze na effect moja moja effect moja moja tuanze na negative tuanze na negative inductive effect negative negative inductive negative inductive effect yes so negative inductive effect as the term suggests inatokana nini na kuithidoa electron tunaondoa electrons so for example what we illustrated here tutakuwa na kionyesha kwenye halo alkane ni negative inductive effect ni negative inductive effect so tunachosema ni kwamba negative inductive effect is an electronic effect which arises in compounds or molecules as the result of bond electrons pair to be withdrawn withdrawn this is the basic terminology or the basic term to be present in the definition of negative inductive effect so withdrawn more away from either carbon or away from the functional group away from either carbon or away from the functional group towards the more electronegative atom towards the more electronegative atom so it can also be defined as the polarization of sigma bond due to electron withdrawing effect polarization of sigma bond due to electron withdrawing effect of adjacent atom or group of atom polarization of sigma bond due to electron withdrawing effect so in the general definition of inductive effect you say inductive effect in the polarization of sigma bond either due to electron withdrawing or electron donating but in this negative we are dealing with the electron withdrawing now already we had an example of negative inductive effect is we we had to it here the example of negative inductive effect and from here we have a partial partial negative partial positive double partial positive triple partial positive these are present in carbon atoms Kwa hiyo inductive effect inakuwa inavuta electrons hii. Effect inaanzia hapa the effect in this carbon will be stronger and tend to decrease and it is significant from the fourth carbon kama mbapo tulisema. Tuko kwenye carbon ya nne it is significant. So tunachosema ni kwamba negative inductive effect tend to decrease the strength of change this is not change when you notice me andiko change lakini tend to decrease strength of charge strength of charge so tend to decrease strength of charge in a compound and hence destabilize the carbocation destabilize the carbocation so negative inductive effect in affect bond strength of this bond bond strength The bond strength of this bond is affected. So, as we shall see, how the negative inductive effect affect the activity of different groups of organic compounds. Like in that's what you need to know. Negative inductive effect. Kama kutakuwa kuna group inayodonate electron, yani nucleophile, itakuja kwa tatu carbon kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu electrons in the bond draw. So, group atakuja kwa tatu pale because of the negative inductive effect so we are saying that the negative inductive effect is indicated by tuna indicate kama i alafu tunaweka negative of mozo so the i is the negative of mozo is indicated by i having a negative the following are the examples of groups 
in the decreasing order of the year negative in that effect. So it has ambiguous groups here, but a two tries to confirm a group second has ambiguous groups is equal to kilogram. A two tries to confirm, and you need to to claim these groups. You need to claim these groups because sometimes they appear in exams. They appear in exams. So in exam. Chapter two. So we need the sun in chapter two. Our part to make a cover. This is greater than C O O H. This is greater than C W O K O D. This is greater than C W O in H2. This is greater than chlorine. This is greater than chlorine. Greater than chlorine. Greater than IV. Uh, greater than hydroxyl. Greater than alcohol. Greater than Amine and beta amine. What is the total groups? And I group and this is beta amine. So to now different groups here, pal. Ono zoko na. Kiasi na wao. Ono na. We are nitrogen. I think I'm nitrogen. Nitrogen. You see nitrogen. Carbon and nitrogen. So our upper and air cones in that different nitrogen. And by the more it will get part. So in this our uh, three groups and echoes in that different nitrogen. Upper can a more negative and by oxygen as well. Like in the upper can I use carbon, can I carbon up on oxygen, or so carbon oxygen has a company negative inductive, carbon oxygen, carbon oxygen, carbon oxygen, chlorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, isotony. Halogen kama magonjwa. Aya hii hapa kuna oxygen, hapa kwenye kuna oxygen tena hapa kuna nitrogen, ali group na hydrogen. Kwa hizo group eh, to some extent utatakiwa uwe una umezikalia. Lakini hizo groups sometimes they appear in exams. But the more important part is the applications or the influence of negative inductive effect. What are the applications or the influence of negative effect? What will be the result of negative inductive effect if it is present in a molecule? So, by starting with the first point, negative inductive effect increases acidic strength of carboxylic compound. Increases, this is the first point, increases acidic strength of Carboxylic acids. So we start about carboxylic acid later, and uh, carboxylic acid they undergo even a mesomeric effect. But now we are just discussing about the effect of uh, negative inductive effect in the reactivity of uh, carboxylic acids. Now, regarding the carboxylic acids, they have C double O. Then they have O hydrogen. Now here, this oxygen tend to pull electrons from hydrogen, and thus tend to weaken this bond. Weaken oxygen hydrogen bond. So the oxygen hydrogen bond is weakened in a quarter if it is easier to break. In the presence of the negative inductive effect, while presence E E carboxylic group will be about that C O O H. Presence E bond here negative inductive effect in a weakened bond. Thus, in a final dissociation of carbon, I mean dissociation of hydrogen to be easier. Negative inductive effect. 
makes dissociation of hydrogen to become easier. So not to say many kwamba, carboxylic acid compounds are strongest acid among the organic compounds. They are strongest acid. Now remember, how do we measure the strength of an acid? How do we measure the strength of an acid? If you have studied your acid basis and salt in your chemistry, I know you'll be knowing about the strength of acids. But even if you have not studied it, or you don't know anything about the uh, you don't know anything about the acid base and salt, no problem. We are measuring the strength of acid by looking at the number number of hydrogen ions or protons which exist exist as free ions in a solution. So if we are writing an equilibrium, let's say it is CH3, then it is COOH. Assuming it is this company, then we are writing an equilibrium. In the upper solution, this one can dissociate into CH3, COO negative plus. Now depending on the concentration of these hydrogen ions, or depending on how this equilibrium will lie forward, then we will know how much this acid is strong. So for the case of carboxylic acid, now we say is strong for some in a coming associate hydrogen is equal to me. Called to say carboxylic acid, they are strongest organic compounds. I mean strongest acids among organic compounds. Ni kwa sababu carboxylic acid ndio compound ambazo zinakuwa zina hydrogen nyingi zinazo exist as free ions in the solution carboxylic acid as compared with other groups of organic compounds or other groups of organic compounds or other families of organic compounds so tunachosema ni kwamba kwa nini kwa hivyo why the reason behind it, among this acidity will be given even under mesomeric effect. However, the acidic strength of carboxylic acid compound increases even much more if strong electron electronegative atom like halogen get attached to one of the more to one of the more carbon atoms in the carboxylic acid molecule. Example, chloroethanoic acid is more acidic than ethanoic acid. So here pa ni strong guys ni strong lakini strength yake inaweza ikaongezeka kama tukiattach cap tukiattach halogen fly now let's say let's say to attach uh, chloroethanoic acid let's say to mechukua CH2 to attach chlorine then hapo kuna COOH this one will be stronger as compared to CH3 COOH. So, carboxylic acid is the strongest among other groups of organic compounds. But also, if we are touching a halogen which will cause a negative inductive effect, will increase the acidic strength of carboxylic acid. So, to not choose to use the Negative inductive effect in our acidic strength. Carboxylic acid is the strongest, strongest acid, but the negative inductive effect increases acidic strength. So we are part of the draw electrons, at the electrons, and then later at the affect the oxygen hydrogen bond. And by affecting this one, this one becomes weak bond becomes weak so not to say kwamba the stronger electron electronegative atom that may be attached with the draw electrons away from carbon electrons with the drawing effect does not end up in carbon to which the electronegative atom is attaching 
So the electron with the drawn effect is tend to be transmitted from one carbon to another. Kama tumesema kwa silent features of inductive effect. So na tukisema ni kwamba it lowers or reduces electron density of oxygen hydrogen bond and the weaken it. So if you talk about it, uh, for our example of what to me, from fun of what to me, I like it a poor, it a poor CH2 apple chlorine C double and O O H. We are part of using that to effect partial negative, partial positive. I can use inductive effect kwa namna kama hii. Hii inductive effect itaenda liko huyu. Hapo itafika liko huyu. Itapunguza electron density. So tunaandika kama decrease electron density of oxygen hydrogen bond. Hence making it weaker making the bond weaker so that's what happens with the negative inductive effect in carboxylic acids what happens with the negative inductive effect in carboxylic acid so weakening of the oxygen hydrogen bond facilitated the dissociation or facilitates the dissociation of carboxylic acid by undergoing oxygen hydrogen bond cleavage and the release hydrogen proton thus by increasing the concentration of hydrogen proton will make the carboxylic acid more strong in the presence of negative inductive effect so we can oxygen hydrogen bond facilitate dissociation of carboxylic acid by undergoing oxygen hydrogen bonding cleavage and release hydrogen proton into solution which determines acidic nature of the solution containing carboxylic acid so negative inductive effect makes the dynamic nature of carboxylic acid to lie more forward. Kwa hiyo kama hii reaction reaction yetu hapa tungekuwa tuna chlorine imekuwa attached hii. Chlorine hii reaction ita lie more forward. Why it is because the presence of this chlorine causes negative inductive effect which will withdraw electrons from the oxygen hydrogen bond and the easier it is the breakage easier the breakage of this this bond so from there so what you say when you come back we also compare our soil we compare our soil from discussion questions about you could not see we compare our soil now even if you have one we use our soil here in that in fact when I use the soil from farm Chloropropanoic acid, two chloropropanoic acid, two chloropropanoic acid. That means CH3, CH3. In the two chloropropanoic acid and the three chloropropanoic acid, yeah, the CH2, chlorine, CH2. Kwa hiyo hii hapa ni 2 chloropropanoic 3 chloropropanoic acid. The question comes which one is strong? Which one is strong acid compared to other? Now remember all of these they possess negative inductive effect. And remember we said negative inductive effect tend to increase the acidic strength of these compounds. So saying that tunakonda mara gani tunaangalia huyu na huyu kama nakumbuka tulisema negative inductive effect inazidi kupungua tunaoboteka kwenye carbon iliyojiattach group yetu kwenda kwenye carbon nyingine hasa ukiangalia huyu hapa yuko carbon ya ngapi ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu huyu hapa yuko carbon ya kwanza ya pili hasa bila shaka negative inductive effect itakuwa kubwa kwa huyu hapa kuliko kwa huyu hapa hiyo ni negative inductive effect. Hapo atujazungumzia maswala ni ya acidic strength. But we know the acidic strength is very proportional to the negative inductive effect 
So if the negative inductive effect increases, also the acidic strength increases. So not to say that who you are, atakuwa ana more negative inductive effect. Thus, atakuwa ni more acidic because the oxygen hydrogen bond will be more weakened as compared with this compound. So, sit as a consumer, majibu some majibu in explanation. Like if you understood the, the concept, utaenda mwenye kufanyeje, utaenda mwenye kusoma kwa nose. So, ala pili, wamekupa, arrange the following compound in correct order of increasing acidic strength. So, here we are given different compounds. And in these compounds, actually the concept which is used is just like here. Some of them, the position of this uh, electronegative atom, and some of them, it, they are electronegativity strength. Compound, to ngeweka, to ngeweka pa chlorine, hapa to ngeweka tatu, hapa hapa to ngeweka chlorine. Then if you are asking, this one and this one, which is more, is more acidic. Hapo ni kuchanganya kichwa, na ndio kazi ya ilimu sasa. Kwa mba huyo hapo chlorine, fluoride is more electronegative than chlorine. So, the negative induct effect will be more in this compound, as compared to this compound. And if we be more in this compound, that means this compound will be more acidic as compared with another compound. So, it is not just examples. It's just examples. Now, they say in another example, you are given maybe chlorine, uh, chlorine, and then in this example, you are given two chlorine. Unaona, what is the difference between this one and this one? We open it. Two chloro propanoic acid. We open it. Two, two dichloro propanoic acid. So difference here can be one by one. We will call it one. When you come on it, remember we said the strength of negative inductive effect increases the number of the groups which are causing it. They tend to increase. So since here we have two chlorine, we have higher negative inductive effect as compared to here. And due to higher negative inductive effect, and this carboxylic uh, group that uh, this carboxylic compound, that means this compound will have more strength or will be stronger as compared to this one. That means the hydrogen will be dissociated easier from this carboxylic acid as compared with this carboxylic acid. So, this is just an example of tricks in by Mbari Zakusovu, Maswari ya Kipengere Ichwa. Maswari ya Kipengere Ichwa. So, kuna Maswari, kuna Maswari mengi hapa, kuna Maswari mengi ya practice. Kwenye hiyo point tu, kwenye hiyo point tu, kuna Maswari mengi ya practice. Kuna Maswari mengi sana, sana ya practice yako. Kwa mda wako mwenyewe, kutumia tuizo concept yako, kwenye notes yako kuna Maswari mengi, pegi kama tatu hivi. Ivema tungi, itaenda kumwano si iliweze kufanya maswari. Lakini, kuna efekti ya pili sasa. Tumesha maliza efekti ya kwaza, ambao ni kuinkrizi acidic strength of carboxylic acid. Increase acidic strength of carboxylic acid. Kwa yoi, tunaenda kwenye, tunaenda kwenye efekti ya pili. Efekti ya pili, nasema negative inductive effect. Account for the reaction which involve acidic beta. Account for the reactions which involve acidic beta and alpha hydrogen. Acidic beta and alpha hydrogen. Now if you remember, we said that if, if you have a certain compound, let's say it's an alcohol, R, C, hydrogen, hydrogen, C, hydrogen. Now, hydroxyl is the functional group of this compound. And from this functional group, we have a Hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. For you, we are hydroxyl and we attach to the carbon here. So this one will be called as alpha carbon. And this one will be alpha hydrogen, alpha hydrogen. This one will be called as beta carbon, beta hydrogen, 
beta hydrogen. Kwa hiyo hapa tunazungumzia swala la jinsi gani negative inductive effect in affect the reactivity of the alpha and the beta hydrogen. Reactivity of the alpha and the beta hydrogen. So tukianza hapo tunasema kwamba the carbon atom to which the functional group is attached is called alpha carbon. The hydrogen atom to which alpha carbon is attached is called alpha hydrogen. The carbon atom next to the alpha carbon is called beta carbon and the hydrogen atom which may be attached to beta carbon is called beta hydrogen. Kwa hiyo tumeshaona hapo concept ya alpha na beta carbon pamoja na hydrogen. Kwa hiyo tunachukua tuna different function groups so as well alpha. Inaweza kawa ni eh inaweza kawa ni halogen na hiyo hapo functional group inaweza kawa ni aldehyde aldehyde na namna ile pale aldehyde eh namna kama hiyo hapo functional group inaweza kawa ketoni carboxylic acid carboxylic acid na namna ile pale eh hizi zote ni vitu mbalimbali ambavyo vinakuwa vinahusika katika nini katika mambo ya ya, ya, ya functional group tunasema hivi normally chemical reactions in organic compounds occur in active site ambao active site ni wapi kwenye functional group which is known as functional group so chemical reaction zinakuwa zinatokea wapi kwenye functional group however for these compounds which are functional groups contain electronegative atom like oxygen and halogen apart from reaction that take place at the functional group in some condition acidic beta hydrogen or acidic alpha hydrogen may also be involved in the reaction so mafuta reaction itakiwa itoke kwenye yangu lakini like sometimes the acidic alpha or beta hydrogen they are involved in the reaction they are involved in the reaction because of different factors because of different factors and for here we are talking in the case of the negative inductive effect so negative inductive effect inaweza kusababisha inaweza kusababisha hapo inaweza kusababisha hapo eh hiyo hydrogen ambayo ni alpha au ambayo ni beta iusike kwenye reaction inaweza ikasababisha kwa mazingira mengine so the strong electron electronegative atom present in the functional group withdraw electrons strongly away from the atom to which they are directly attached by negative inductive effect negative inductive effect caused by strong electronegative atom leaves electron dense of the oxygen hydrogen bond on the second carbon atom and makes it to be weak kwa hiyo hii negative inductive effect inakuja ku weaken hizi bond inafanya hizi bond ziwe weak it weakens inafanya hizo bonds become weak and third the chemical reaction inaweza kutokea inaweza kutokea very easy so the hydrogen atom in the second carbon becomes loosely and highly crystallized and hence requires acidic character so hydrogen hapa ni become acidic in nature ina become positive charge ambayo tunaweza kusema ina become acidic so tunaposema acidic ni kwa sababu ina become positive charge so some of the uh, groups ambazo zinaweza kawa zina hiyo acidic hydrogen and because it become acidic it is easier to be removed so the the hydrogen atom on the alpha and beta carbon becomes acidic in nature so it is suitable condition like in alkaline solution such acidic hydrogen are readily to be removed by base example of compounds which have strong electronegative atom in their functional groups and hence of course have acidic or acidic alpha or beta hydrogen to norm acid chloride acid chloride tunaenda kuzidiscuss kwa mbele tuna carboxylic acid tuna alcohol tuna alkyl halide tuna carbonyl compound ambazo ni aldehyde pamoja na ketone hizo ni mifano tu so ili tuweze kuelewa yani ili tuweze kuelewana Kiswahili ili tuweze kuelewana Kiswahili 
Hatuwezi tuka discuss compound zote. Hatuwezi tuka discuss compound zote. Tunachukua example. Example yetu natoka kwenye alkali halai. Alkali halai. Alkali halai. Kwa alkali halai ni compound yetu. Nilikwambia alkali halai ni zile ambazo zinakuwa zina ala. Ala kwa alojin. Hiyo ni mfano wa nini? Alkali halai. Hiyo ni tofauti na asai. Asai proline. Asai proline ni kwa ala C eh yeah. double bond o proline. This is called acyl. Acyl. Acyl proline. But this one is alkyl proline. Okay, anyway my aim is to zungumzia mambo ya acid core hapa. Hapa ni muda wa alkali hapa ni pamoja na get it back to Now, tunatoa example kutumia alkali hapa. In all conditions, in all conditions, remember, in all conditions except in alcoholic potassium hydroxide. Alcoholic potassium hydroxide solution. Alkali hapa undergo nucleophilic substitution reaction in which a halogen is replaced by a nucleophilic or is replaced by a nucleophilic. They undergo nucleophilic substitution. Kwa hiyo nakuja kuona inakuwa ara x to plus electrophile bond with nucleophile. So, we have an atom cosy, we have an energy. Now, from there, from there, we reaction and zapito are nucleophile plus electrophile X. This is what happens in normal conditions without the presence of alcoholic potassium hydroxide. Alcoholic potassium hydroxide. So in the absence of alcoholic potassium hydroxide, so in the absence of uh, alcohol, potassium and oxide, uh, this compound they tend to undergo a reaction which is nucleophilic substitution. In the mechanism of this reaction, in the mechanism of this reaction, uh, for example, let's take uh, CH3, CH2 chloride plus any compound, let's say water. And let's see what happens. So, first, uh, what will happen? It is CH3. Then here it is CH2 chlorine plus oxygen, hydrogen, hydrogen. And because water is a nuclear pipe, we donate electrons to carbon. And why it donates electrons to carbon? It's because uh, electrons they will grow by chlorine. That's how we become weaker. They want to become weaker. So what will happen? It is CH3, then it is C, then it is chlorine, oxygen, hydrogen, hydrogen. So what happens? The compound will be weak. Supply electrons to the hydrogen, and this one will be supply electrons to this toxin because this toxin will become its charge. So at the end of the day, at the end of the matter, CH3, CH2 hydrogen plus hydrogen chloride. Here, we need to have a reaction of the toxin. My name is Ayo. Now, what is the toxin? And we have uh, other examples of also Zico PR said with this one. Other example. But this is what happens. In undergo nucleophilic substitutional reaction. Now, in the presence of alcohol potassium protein, the reaction is elimination. Things are changing. Reaction is elimination. Instead of uh, Substitution into the usual reaction. So these reactions are called substitution reaction. 
The reaction in an atom or group of atoms from a compound is substituted by a microphone. It's called microphone substitution reaction. In the alcoholic potassium and oxygen now, alkyl allied undergo elimination reaction or base induced elimination reaction. So this involves the removal, the removal of hydrogen and acidic beta hydrogen. Remove of hydrogen and acidic beta hydrogen. So let's say we have para carbon hydrogen carbon hydrogen then umbrella X in the presence of potassium and oxygen alcohol. So what happens in your alcohol potassium and oxygen? The reaction will be elimination. So another one will be formed there. Another one will be formed in the reaction mechanism. In the reaction mechanism. Here the bond will be going to be R, C, C, hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. This one will be positive charge plus negative charge. So potassium there from potassium and oxygen from potassium and oxygen if I get to the bomb uh who you are using I then have to spoil your vision. I go to the big bomb with the supply power. At supply up on your oxygen that means that for government is for family. If you are from me, or if you are from me, that means the bottom of R, CH2. I mean, if we are at a supply for you, at a supply for you, now you are at a computer value, CH, CH2, up at a plus, in the power, potassium X plus water potassium X plus water so that's the what happens uh, could you have mechanism proper so jambo la maana sana ila cha mungu ni chato kujua ni chato na chato kujua ni chato so kompano these are just uh, examples and we will discuss different things about this negative and positive attitude. Now, because of the environment which are not conducive now, in the next session we will discuss about the positive inductive effect and the effects of the positive inductive effect. And we shall move to mesomeric effect if time will allow us. Later we shall make studies. Don't forget to contact me for the need of notes. Thank you.